Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a get ready with me. I'm going to do an entire look using products that are $5 or less. So everything in this video will uh, be $5 or less. I have already done my skincare. Boy, that looks bright. Let me see if I can tone that down a little. Okay. I've already done my skincare and I'm sorry I'm shaking the table. Um, so let's get right in. This is going to be a long video. I already know that because I'm starting from scratch. I'm doing the foundation. So first off, face primer. I don't own a face primer that's $5 or less, so I'm not going to put a face primer on. I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. I do have an eyeshadow primer. The one I use and have been using and I really like is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And it works great for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this eyeshadow primer and put it on my eyelids. I'm going to try to go fast. I'm going to try to do a simple look. That's not going to take a lot. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to, we're going to attempt it. We're going to attempt it. So here we go. Now, I have a um, concealer. And um, it's okay, but it is, it's a dollar. I got it from Shop Miss A. It's by Beauty Treats, and it's just a concealer crayon. And I am actually going to put this on underneath my uh, foundation uh, instead of on top, because it is, it's not light, it's more of a medium, but I just want to get this on for, and you can see these dark circles I have. And I tell you, I've been drinking lots of water and maybe it's hereditary, I'm thinking. Do you see the color? I'm not as pleased with the color of this or the consistency. I'm just not a big fan of this concealer at all. Probably should have just went without one, but yeah. It's a dollar. It was a dollar concealer, so yeah. Now, for foundation... I went and purchased this just to do this video. So um, I'm also going to be testing this foundation out today and I'm going to put up a review video. I'm going to wear it all day. I wore this foundation yesterday and I'm yesterday I, I wore it with um, a primer. And today, since I don't have a $5 or under primer, I'm going to try it without the primer. Then I'll wear it all day and see how it does today versus yesterday. And then I will do a video on it. But this is Rimmel London's Match Perfection 24-Hour Moisture Pore Blurring Effect Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Foundation. And the color I got was Soft Beige. So I'm going to check it up and just go ahead and apply it. I will tell you more about this foundation when I do the review on it. But I just wanted to try some Try some more drugstore foundations and uh, review them. And I still think I look mighty bright. Does that help? I don't know. I don't know what. I've adjusted my settings in the phone. I've got a mirror that's closer. I hope you can see what I'm doing. With this new camera, I feel like it looks like I'm farther away than close up. And this uh, foundation goes on pretty good. But I do feel like I need a second coat of foundation. And I don't think it's going to dry quickly. I think I can go ahead and dot it around my face. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a little closer to you. And I don't want to get quiet. I'm going to be doing a video later about Christmas cards too. It'll be later in the week. So, all right, there we go. There is 
of the foundation. Not bad. Hang on a second. Can't stand anything on my hands. Can't stand to have anything on my hands. All right. Finished with that. Next, um, I am going to follow up with this e.l.f. Uh, translucent mattifying powder. I believe this powder was about three bucks. It's just, just the e.l.f. mattifying powder. And I'm going to take my big powder brush, which uh, it is not under five dollars. I don't have the correct tools to use I'm not going out and buying a bunch of cheap brushes just to do a makeover, so I'm just going to use my regular brushes. So this is an IT Cosmetics brush. Oh, there we go. Just, just to set my makeup. is done. Next, I'm going to do contour. Now for my contour, I'm not going into all the steps that I usually do when I contour because I don't want to make this video really long. So the contour I'm going to use today is a contour from Shop Miss A. Again, this is a dollar. And this is Clean Color Tanned Roar. And the it doesn't have a color on it. It's just called the matte bronzer. So that's what it looks like. And I actually really like this. This is not a bad purchase at all. This, this is a really good purchase. So I'm going to bronze up my cheeks. want to get too quiet on you. And under my chin, I always contour under here. Cause I got that little bit of a double chin still going on. I think a lot of that is saggy skin too, man. I think when I turn 60, I'm going to treat myself to a facelift. Unless I find that magic potion in a jar, right? I'm on the hunt for it for us. Okay, not bad. I like this um, bron this bronzer. I'm really, I really do. I use it a lot. Okay, next my brows. So for my brows, I'm using another product. From Miss A, the dollar store. It's a uh, Malibu Glitz powder brow, uh, brows. It has a pretty good brush. It's pretty stiff, and I like that. And does this have a color? This color is medium brown. Now, I will just be using this darker shade here. And just to... My eyebrows has gray in them. And so, I just want to... Kind of straighten them up, color them where they're gray. Just get some definition to my eyebrows. And they're sparse on the end, so I draw it down. I really need to, looks like I need to do my eyebrows before the whole, before this weekend, before I start going around and about and celebrating Christmas. With everybody. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. And I like this brow powder. I, I really do. I, I think that's another good product from the dollar store that works great. Next is my eyes. Now, um, my favorite eyeshadows in the whole entire world is ColourPop. You know I love my ColourPop. Luckily, ColourPop is only $5 an eyeshadow. So I've got four I'm going to use today. 
and um, I'm going to start with um, this is how they look for those of you who don't know. I'm going to start with girly. Can you see that? That light is very bright. Mm. Maybe I should get a, a not so bright light in here. Okay, and I'm going to take girly with my finger and put it all over, all the way up to the brow. Just all over. Am I hitting pan? I'm hitting pan with a girly. Oh no. Oh no. You can tell how much I use girly. I love this shade. I just hit pan. I just hit pan. No, girly, no. Next, I cut in some um, ColourPop uh, brushes. Where did I put them? There's one. Where's the other? Here it is. I just got the ColourPop brushes um, with an order. And they've not launched yet, I don't think, on the website. But they're coming out with two brushes. And I got them both. So the next color I'm going to use in my crease, and I'm going to try these brushes out, is uh, Girl Crush. And I'm going to see how these brushes work. I mean, they must be made for ColourPop. So I'm going to put this in my crease. Oh, they work nice. I feel like my hand's shaking. Maybe. If these brushes work really well, I might buy a lot more of the crease colors, the darker shades. Because I have a lot of the bright shades for my lid because I like a glitter lid. I like a shiny lid. But I don't like a shiny crease. And ColourPop has some gorgeous shades. Can you see me? Yeah. They're very blendable with your finger, but I like to be really detailed with the brush. That looks really, really nice. I like the ColourPop brushes. I definitely approve. Let's do the other eye. I want to be able to, be able to see me. Have you all finished with your Christmas shopping? I hope so. I am done. I'm going to finish wrapping this afternoon and tomorrow. Tomorrow my son goes with Grandpa, with his cousin, and to do their annual Christmas shopping. Grandpa takes them to buy presents for their parents. That's happening tomorrow. Right, yeah, tomorrow. My husband's last day of work is tomorrow. And then after that, we will be busy. All right, I really like these ColourPop brushes. I think they are going to sell for $7 a piece. I think that's what, what I read. But... I got them for free. Now, on my lid, I am going to, I already have the girly all over. So now I'm going to, I love my new camera. It tells me how long I've been filming. Fantastic. So we're at almost 15 minutes. Um, I am going to use, uh, I'm going to put this one on first. I picked this one out because it looks like fun and it's called Pop Rocks and it was a, it was just a temporary shade. It's not available right now 
uh, on the website to purchase. I'm sorry about that. But it was one of the tie-dyed shades. See that? And so I'm going to use this with this ColourPop brush, and I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye for my pop of color. I always like to add that pop of color on the uh, outer portion of my lid. So now when you mix all these together, it's a blue tone. Even though there's purples and silvers, it's, let me get a good hold of this. Oh yeah. Can you see that? It's a shiny blue. Shiny, shiny blue. I think that's pretty. And now on the other half of my lid, clean off my brush. I am going to put my new favorite that I just got and that's Glitterati. And sure enough, it's just glitter. Is this it? Yep. Glitterati. It's hard to see. So let me get this on my brush and put this on the front portion of my lid. I want to block you. Isn't that pretty? Can you see? See the difference? There we go. I think that's pretty. Now I am going to wipe off this brush and use it again. I'm going to take some more of this uh, Girl Crush and just kind of smudge it under uh, my lower lash line. I don't own any eyeliners or lip liners that are under $5, and I just didn't want to buy any just to do this video. So just smudge a little uh, eyeshadow under there. Now, I did buy a mascara just for this, and I bought the Wet n' Wild Mega Volume mas Mascara. Oh, I don't think I told you. The Rimmel Foundation was just under... Five dollars, yeah, just under five dollars. It was like four ninety seven or something like that, and I picked it up at Walmart. Also, I got the Wet n Wild at Walmart, and it was like three dollars and forty seven cents or something like that. And like I said, I bought it just for this video, but I'm still going to test it out and may do a, a mini review of some drugstore products. So I might do the Rimmel and the the mascara together. I might do a review. So. I have never used this one before. And truthfully, I haven't really purchased a lot of drugstore mascaras. Um, I bought a waterproof last year for the pool. And it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, but this one seems pretty good. This is, this one is the volume. Gives you volume. And I think it's working pretty good. It's not a wet formula. So I don't have any of that smudging going on. It doesn't feel wet. I'll just give you my opinion right now. <laughs> I think I really like this mascara. And not bad for like $3.47, huh? Is it my favorite mascara? No. Benefit Roller Lash is my favorite. But for like 350 basically and this is one coat i'm just brushing this on i think it's pretty good mascara let's get these bottom lashes oh, i got a smudge 
But that could be me. I wouldn't doubt that would be me. My eyes are so bloodshot, and I'm sorry. The veins in my eyes are just so big. And I talked to my doctor about it because I have problems with um, the veins in my eyes bursting. And my eye will be all, like, bloody looking. Sorry if that's gross. I don't, hope it's not too much information. But I do. My, my veins will pop. And I talked to the doctor, and he said I just have weak blood vessels in my eyes. So if you ever see my eyes red and you're, you're kind of worried that I can't do anything about it, I have tried drops and tried drops, every kind of drop imaginable, and I just cannot. I can't get rid of the veins in my eyes. They're just, they're there. And so, sorry about that. I like, I am, this has been, this was, has been a surprise. And so is the foundation, I must say. They both are surprising me. I think that foundation looks good, and I wish the light was not so bright. But I think it looks really nice. And my stomach's growling. I am so sorry. Oh, I think that looks really nice. I love this mascara. I should try, I'm going to try more drugstore products, I believe in the coming year and test them because I'm, I'm pleasantly pleased. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to put on is blush. I don't know why I put my blush on after I do my eyes because then that's when I usually pick my blush color, but I don't have a lot of uh, products under $5 to pick from. And I have this one. This is also a dollar store product. This is clean color, American chick, Baked blush. This is what it looks like. And does it have a color? Lush petal. It does have a color. Lush petal. It's a baked. And it's a shimmery one, so I didn't pick a highlighter, but I don't think I have a highlighter under $5. So but this is this is pretty. It's a sort of a pale peach with um it's got gold in it and ivory. And so I will this on. Oh, and then my lips. But yeah, this is uh, not extremely pigmented, which I prefer in a blush. I'd rather build my color than be put it on and go, Oosh, you know, I've got too much on. So I think this is just perfectly pigmented for me. I think it's just, it's just right. So this is another dollar store product that I really like. And, um, but they're, out of all the orders I've made uh, from Miss A, I have m more misses than hits. But all I can tell you is, you know, they're a dollar. And if you want to give a shot and see what you get, you know, you might find some really good stuff. But just be, you know, mindful that you might also find stuff that's like not so good. Now for my lips. I've even worn the ColourPop logo off of this one. This is my favorite ColourPop. Wait a minute. Is this $5 or $6? I can't remember. I can't even tell if it, it's the math. They may be $6. I might have to change. I don't want to break the rules. So let's go with the lippy stick. Lippy sticks are definitely $5. So... What are we going to do? First, I'm going to put the primer on. And I recommend this for anybody. The primer's $5. If you're going to wear ColourPop lipsticks, invest in the primer. It keeps the... Um, it helps with the uh, long wearing of the uh, color. It helps keep the moisture in your lips. And it's Smells good. It's the only one. It's the only one has the smell. And what is that smell? It's a vanilla. It's straight up vanilla. Vanilla smell. So I'm going to mix two that I always like to mix. Um, since I couldn't put trap on, I think trap is six dollars. The lippies are five. So I'm starting with. Pillow Talk. 
I love Pillow Talk. This is what it looks like. I'm going to put it on and not focus so much in the center, and I'll show you why. Light up some more. Pillow Talk. And on top of that, Pillow Talk, by the way, is a matte X. I'm going to top it with Fiesta. And Fiesta is a... Yeah, I've done this before. I like to mix these two. So, Fiesta. Wipe that off. Fiesta is a cream. So, let's... I'll show you right there. It's a cream. And it's a, a corally... Uh, pink. More coral than pink. Has a little more orange in it. And for some reason, I really love it mixed with Pillow Talk. And that's usually how I wear it. So there we go. That is my makeup look. Everything costs five dollars or less. The most expensive thing I used would be the ColourPop uh, shadows and the ColourPop lippies, which are five. The um, foundation was $4.97. The mascara was $3.47. The e.l.f. powder was $3. And everything else I used was from the dollar store. So blush, bronzer, and uh, brow were dollar store products. So there you go. And I'm, I'm happy with this look, and I'm going to wear it all day. Oh, and I had the dollar concealer, which I don't like. I'm putting that out there right now. I don't like the consistency, and I don't like the color. And I should just go ahead and take it out, of, and I think I will. I am just going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't, I don't care for it. So, it's gone because I, I don't like how it feels and I don't like how it looks. But, other than that, and the primer for my eyes, the Wet n Wild, I highly recommend $4.99. So, there we go. That is my look. So, if you enjoyed this pl uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching and I will see you next time.